Thank you. It's actually a follow up to the uh, earlier response which Olaf uh, uh, made. Uh, and uh, I was going to ask uh, if we had a chance uh, to travel around the world and look around the different ports and given all the uh, challenges that you've uh, outlined as well as the opportunities. And if you were to pick and choose those elements from the different uh, ports which you think uh, we could uh, learn something from uh, in the case of Singapore because we are in a phase where we are thinking, uh, as you as you mentioned, uh, planning uh, for our next generation port, uh, even as uh, Pasir Panjang Terminal 3 and 4 will be uh, commissioned uh, uh, next week uh, by, the, by the Prime Minister, in fact. Uh, but uh, we're planning ahead beyond that, uh, looking at uh, the move of the port to Tuas. What are some of the new elements uh, you would consider as something that we should be thinking about uh, because I don't think we just want to build just another container port as a replication of what we have currently and of course it's a long time frame they are looking at uh, and whatever we adopt has to have that element of sustainability to ensure that these uh, uh, measures will put the port in a good position to deal with the next wave of, of, of challenges but I think there could be some common features uh, that we can uh, adopt from uh, other successful uh, uh, ports uh, and port cities, there are not many of them, and of course you've highlighted uh, Singapore's rather unique position in the intersection of all the different uh, types of uh, port uh, city models that, uh, that, uh, that, that exist around the world uh, itself. So I thought I'd just uh, tap your views on this, given that the OECD has done this study on, uh, on uh, port cities and uh, the future opportunities. Well, Thank you. <coughs> Well, <clears throat> I think that there are maybe two, uh, two elements to mention there. The first one is, uh, is indeed related to uh, Singapore's unique position, uh, which is not only, only a port, uh, it's also uh, uh, a leading maritime um, a cluster, it's also a leading uh, waterfront economy, um, which highlights, uh, let's say, the, uh, this element of the, the, the quality of life and the, the, the livability, uh, of course, uh, uh, and this is a question that, well, not only Singapore, but many, many large uh, port cities have to have to deal with. So I would say uh, an important issue there for, for, for Singapore is, uh, is uh, let's say, environmental sustainability. Uh, if you look at uh, some of the large U.S. and uh, large European ports, uh, there's a lot, lot of lot of effort, a lot of thinking going on on what are the different measures to to well to mitigate uh, some of their, their environmental impacts. Uh, sometimes, of course, this is, this is kind of international regulation, and you have emission control areas, you have uh, all, all that. Uh, but in many cases, it's also, let's say, local uh, initiatives. Uh, this is our, uh, it can be local uh, regulation by, uh, by, by ports, incentive uh, structures. To, uh, to reduce environmental impacts, um, to go to, to cleaner uh, uh, port trucks, to go to cleaner ships. Um, so there's all, uh, let's say, a whole, whole range of, of instruments that some other ports have, uh, have used that, uh, that uh, well, might also be considered in the, in the case of Singapore. But that's one thing. Um, <clears throat> the second thing uh, is as you continue to develop uh, ports further away from the, from the city and the city center uh, in a way that also leads to, um, let's say, a, a disconnect of, uh, let's say, of the citizens of, this, of the city with, its, with each port. Um, and that, I think, is, uh, is an important issue for, for many of the port cities that have, let's say, relocated their port, how to, to somehow make sure that uh, citizens still know that there is a port to, to start with, but also that there is still is let's say, local support for sustaining these port uh, functions, uh, well, still fairly close to, uh, close to a metropolitan area. How to make sure that, uh, that, well, that people still uh, are willing to, to see their, well, a lot of their, their, their taxpayers' money, uh, in fact, going on to, to, to sustain such a, such a structure. I think that, that might become uh, let's say a challenge uh, on the on the on the longer term. How to, well, how to make sure that the port is still somehow present in the hearts and minds of the, the Singapore the Singapore people. And then there's also a lot of uh, initiatives in, in many other ports around the world to actually create goodwill uh, to uh, to make sure that 
there is a, a positive feel, even a pride uh, of, of local uh, citizens in, the, in, in their port. Uh, and I think there are, of course, initiatives going on in, in, in Singapore, um, but also other, other things that, uh, that could, still be, uh, could still be explored.